Hi, thank you for choosing this video to watch. In this video, I'm going to be making my own incense and also exploring the different kinds that I have already laying around. Also making a holder for the stuff that I already have. So if you're interested in watching that, it's going to be about half an hour long. Uh, please stay and watch. There's going to be an index in the description below your screen so you can skip ahead to the parts that interest you. So this is the first kind. You're probably familiar with it. It's just uh, basically a little strip of bamboo that's been coated with a kind of paste and the paste has been inundated with oils or uh, medicinal herbs or perfumes, whatever it is you want to smell. So when you burn this, you will smell the wood smoke and the perfumes and the bamboo. And a lot of people don't like that, so they buy this other product. It's called a dupe stick, referring to the Sanskrit word for this kind of incense. It's basically just that material, but made into sort of a little piece of chalk. See? And if you wanted to make your own, uh, what I've been doing is I just used this skewer. This is a bamboo skewer that you use to make kebabs. And I've just been splitting it like this. All right? So you take this end. I would probably want to split it one more time just so that there's very little bamboo to smell. And then um, used this powder called mako powder which is basically just uh, the, the powder, powdered bark from various trees. Uh, this is the Japanese version. There's, I mean, there's, I mean, a lots of cultures have made incense, but this is just what I'm using. So the aim is to, uh, well, maybe I won't try to goop it around a piece of bamboo because that seems a little, maybe I'll just make a little cone. Oh, and that's the other kind that I have. I have this. Yeah, this is the same sort of stuff. My hands are all dirty because I've been holding incense stuff. Now, this is copal, which is a resin that you chip off of a tree that's been wounded. And when the bark is wounded, it seeps out this resin and hardens. And uh, this was used a lot with Mayan ceremonies. So the way you burn this is you, well, I buy, <laughs> wow, I bought this in June 2010. Look at that. And it's because these little charcoal briquettes are very difficult to light. But basically the idea is, you don't have to use one of these, but I did. Uh, put the briquette in there and you set your copal resin on there and then you light the briquette and I have not been successful at all doing this I'll try it for you it's hard to light I think you need a lot of fire and just a little bitty match is not going to do it doing something. Hmm? No. But that's the idea. Uh, later I will try to do that and show you what it looks like. Because it looks really neat coming out of this this little bell thing with the smoke coming out through the stars. Right? Just like that. Nice. Well, I never got the charcoal to light and it should be pretty easy. So I think I just got some bum charcoal. But I did get the resin to light. Look at that flame. And I wanted to capture this on video because you can see see it actually melting there into a little into a little river bonding with that unlit charcoal. If you want to see a video that actually explains what this is all about, I'll put a link right up here in the corner and you can go to that video and see what it's supposed to look like and what it's supposed to do for you.
there's one other thing I do, which is I um actually I bought this Palo Santo. Uh, it's just a stick. <laughs> it's a, it's an aromatic wood, and I just kind of when I was preparing this video, I thought it was really funny to imagine that somebody went out and cut these sticks off of their tree and put them in a paper bag, a plastic bag, and then stapled the, this label on and put a whole bunch of those in a box and mail it off to, to the New Age store. And, uh, and, and a nice little guy like me sitting in the city says, I think I want some Palo Santo and where am I going to get it? I know, I'll go to the New Age store, and there they are. They're just, they're, they're, they're hanging on the little rack like this, ready for me to buy. But it's just a stick. There's sticks everywhere. So, and I, I haven't found a really great way to make these smoke. So what I've been doing is, I've been using my wood burning tool, and I've been, uh, just making designs in it, and it's kind of my favorite way. To make incense smoke. It's really personal and it's I only I only make as much as I need. Palo Santo really fills up the house. So while I'm doing this, I'll just talk about why I burn incense. And it's not for specifically a ritual, even though my association with burning incense has had always been for ritual purposes. So when I, when I discovered that you could just go to a store and buy a package of incense for yourself, that, that just blew my mind. I didn't, and I was, I was like a preteen when I discovered that fact. I, I just, I just thought it was just a sacred thing that only priests could do and suddenly you could just kind of do it in your own kitchen. So I don't use it really for rituals, specific specific rituals. I use it to make the house smell good. But that's not to say I don't use it for rituals. I just don't have anything specifically that I've burn this for as part of a ritual, a religious ritual, spiritual practice. But, and you know, it sort of brings up the question in my mind about, well, what is the smoke supposed to do? And in Mayan ceremonies, it's supposed to call upon the gods. And I'm um, I don't know a lot about other religions, but it's it's a connection between the human and the spiritual force, the, the higher awareness. And I, you know, I have to say, s smelling the smoke does change you. It's sort of like chanting. I mean, do, do the do, are the words actually magic? Are they magic words? If you say the magic word, do you actually become instantly connected with, with the God that you're trying to communicate with? That's a question. Same idea with, with specific hand gestures or, or the smoke. Like what, if I burn Kopal, am I calling upon a Mayan God? And I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just kind of like running up to someone's house and knocking on their door without <laughs> knowing who they are. I mean, that's, you know, that's a question. Um, I, it's something to meditate on, I guess. And why not burn incense while I meditate on what's the purpose of burning this incense? Seems like a good thing to do. So that's one way. Uh, another way I wanted, I, I thought of to to make 
to make this this uh, Palo Santo scent fill the air is to combine it with this mucko. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna chop this up and pulverize it and combine it with the the mako powder and make a little cone like like this one like this little guy i think that'd be a great idea so i'm gonna go do that i'm gonna do that right now i just thought of that you know i meditated and that's the answer i got i was doing it as i was filming you just witnessed a meditation and uh an epiphany so here we go all right so i just took a hacksaw and i and i uh, took off the top the burnt part of that stick and I made it into these little little chunkies and I'm going to put that in this coffee grinder which I purchased at the Goodwill for just such purposes where it's just a little blade inside here and it goes really fast so I'm going to pulverize it cover your ears I guess that's okay. All right, so, and I put it in the all purpose bucket. Uh, a little bit of this. I think the recipe is about half and half, right? That's just gross. All right, I'm gonna put this on a piece of tin foil and let it dry. For this last bit, I am going to try to stick this onto the, the bamboo. I just have the slimmest little piece of bamboo here, and I think I might just try to goop it on there. have been drying for about 18 hours. I think they're about ready to light. So let's light it.
So I showed you how this dupe stick was made, probably. And I do tend to buy these sticks of incense rather than the, uh, the kind that I just made with the, with the bamboo because I do actually smell a difference between with and without bamboo. There's a, there's a certain scent of burnt bamboo and um, I prefer this. But the problem is that um, a lot of the incense burners aren't really made for this. So I've had to make my own. I'll show you that. Now, what I have here is a piece of wood that I've drilled a hole in and I've taken one of these incense sticks and I stuck it in here like that. And it burns down and two things happen that I don't like. One is that it, it burns this bit here and it's gonna burn through the wood and it might cause a fire. So that's a problem. Also, it leaves these little, you know, ashes that kind of roll off. These are the ones that stayed on. The other ones have rolled off. And I don't like that. So look, it just fell off, just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little old carbon knife and I'm going to dig out a little divot and I'm going to re-drill this hole and line it with uh, maybe like a piece of a sheet of brass so that I can just slide it in here because this this doesn't they don't always come off obviously remember very clean so it doesn't really fit and it's it's a pain so we're gonna make ourselves a little incense burner holder 